Hi guys, you're back with Coach Marissa from Ultimate MMA Plus. Today I'm going to show you guys another resistance band workout. Last week we did one, uh, it was a little different resistance band. This one actually has handles. So I'm going to show you guys some of the similar exercises, but you can do if you have something to anchor. Okay, you can wrap around a wood post at home, you know, something secure. Today we're going to use this post right here. Okay, so we're just going to do... Uh, targeting two areas, we're going to go back and chest, okay, but I'm going to show you some variations for these that are going to help you guys out. So, first we're going to do two arms. So again, I just need a little anchor, okay, I'm going to make myself in a little squared squat stance here, so I'm nice and strong. I don't want to be standing upright and have the resistance pull me. Okay, first we're going to start off, I just want to walk out where there's a little bit of resistance here, okay, I don't need to walk out crazy because I'm going to end up rowing back. Okay, first we're gonna start off with both arms together. So shoulders back and down. Okay, good posture. I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together, let my arms extend. If I feel like that's too easy, I can walk back. So row, shoulders back and down, squeeze those shoulder blades together, let those arms fully extend. Okay, how we're gonna vary this today is now, so say I do 15. Okay, we're gonna work on between one to four sets. We can do between 12 to 15 of each exercise. So what I would like to do is do both arms, and then we're going to break it down and do one arm at a time while maintaining a hold. Okay, so say I did my 15 rows. Again, let those arms extend. Then I can take, you know, 15 seconds rest if I want to, or I can go right into it. Okay, 15, 30 seconds rest, whatever you guys are comfortable with. And then we're going to row, but I'm going to keep one row. Okay, I'm going to hold that position and let the other arm work. Okay, then I'm going to go for my 12 to 15 on one side. When I'm done with that, I'm going to hold that row and then work on the other side. So now we're holding one arm while the other one is working. Okay, opposite, you could do one arm at a time to start. Okay, I row both back. I do one arm for my 12 to 15. Do one arm for my 12 to 15. And if I want to finish out with my both arms together, I can do that. So you can either start or you can finish with the both arms together. I like to bring that in. Then you're going to hold that row position and work one arm at a time. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to reverse, work our opposing muscle with our chest press. So first again, I can do both arms together. So I want to control this resistance. I'm going to be a little bit closer to my point of being versus my rows, I'm gonna back up a little bit further, okay? So for the chest press, you're gonna be probably a little bit closer, okay? I wanna stagger my stance here. I don't have my feet together and feel like I'm falling over. So I'm one foot forward. I keep kind of two right angles right at my body. I want my elbows not to be brought back, okay? I wanna keep this nice, safe position. I'm leaning slightly forward here. I'm gonna extend my arms to straighten out and then press together. So bring them back. When I bring them back, again, I'm keeping that same position. And I'll pivot to show you guys a little bit here. Press straight forward and together. So now I'm going downward. I'm not pressing up. So press down together right where your chest is and then control coming back. Okay. Exhale, press together, control coming back. Resistance bands are all different levels of resistance. So for these, I would definitely do at least 15. If you're doing something super heavy as you've worked yourself up to that, again, you can lower your amount of repetitions. So between 12 to 15, we're looking to get. Okay, so I've staggered my stance. I'm starting with both arms together. Press down and together. Okay, so I want to make this a little bit more difficult. I'm going to keep one arm locked out with that resistance. Let one arm work. So exhale. If you start getting tough, keep in mind of that good, safe position for that shoulder. You're not letting the resistance control you. Okay, your elbow shouldn't go back past your body midline. So all the way back and all the way forward, then I'll hold that in that static position, arm locked out, press back and together to meet. So again, same deal like I said with the back, I can start with both arms together, or I can finish out. Even if you want to finish out with as many reps as possible, burnout, you can do that, okay? So say I go both together, but I start with one arm, back control, come together, say I do my 12 to 15, I hold that there, do my 12 to 15, other arm, and then I want to get my max reps. Okay, I can do that. Again, forward lean here, staggered stance, control that band coming back. Okay, so we worked our back, we worked our chest, 
We did both arms together. We did one arm at a time with a hold. So you're going through a lot of different things here, but very simple. All I have now, the only difference from last week is I have an anchor here, okay? And I also have resistance bands with handles. I can use the same resistance bands I did last week. I would just loop it around, use them like handles, okay? But I want to give you guys some ideas depending on what you have at home. So just run through really quick. Okay, we'll go our row here. I'm squeezing, I'm holding my shoulder blades together, back and down. Say, I just want to do one arm at a time. Okay, fully extend, bring that elbow back, squeeze that shoulder blade right to that midline. So one arm, I get through my 12 to 15, I do my other arm, fully extend, and then I want to finish out both together. Maybe I want to back up to get a little bit more resistance. And do that as well. Then right away, I don't need any rest because these are opposing muscles. I turn over, palms are facing out. I walk forward till I feel some resistance I can maintain, but it's still challenging. I stagger my stance. My body is slightly leaned forward. My arms are nice and level with my body. Okay, I'm gonna press both out. My hands are level with my chest, not my face. I'm gonna let one arm work. Let that arm come back. Control it, watch what your elbow's doing. It's not going past that midline. When I'm done with my 12 to 15, I maintain that arm locked out and then I let the other side work. When I'm done with my 12 to 15, I let both sides work. So again, I could burn out or I could just go for my 12 to 15 and we can work up to between one to four sets. Hopefully you guys like this one. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave me a comment. Um, the full workout is in the description. If you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. But again, regular resistance band. This one has handles, okay? But it's just if you're using an anchor point instead of just your own body. Last week, we just used our own body as keeping that resistance band down. So it just gives you guys some ideas. Um, maybe next week, we'll add on a little bit more, see what we can do. So if you guys never want to miss another workout, definitely subscribe to our channel, Ultimate MMA Plus. See you guys next time.